It's a partial. Copy that. White. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it looked to me like it might be a different. We'll go with more for uh, squat lobster. Rad. Yeah, good eye. Yep, squat lobster. Oh, hey, come back, camera. Yeah. Max Zoom. Okay. So Another right. squat lobster. That's probably good enough for one. I didn't want to do anything pretty with him, but just identify that he was there. Looked like a couple of cup corals on that uh, face of the rock that had broken off. Again, where there's less likely to be sediment cover. It's a crinoid on the rock. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you, Bridge. Okay, ship move is complete, but it looks like Sirius has only moved Another about 10 to 20 on the, meters. Just on the side of that rock. Going out to the right now. Do you want to zoom on it, Tim? Uh, it'd be nice if you weren't moving and that if you're making tracks. Do you have uh, time for a zoom on the solitary hydroid on the side of the rock, pilot? Yeah, Looks I like think you're I out do. in front. Help me refind it here. It just, it just uh, looked a little different. Oh, hanging off there. Map, so I, would let know. I see it. You got it? Because I already lost it. No, it's good so eye on Tim's lower part. Lower um, Okay, I see it. Yeah. Coming. You got it? Okay. Yeah, let's go get it roll. I'm impressed Tim can see that on the, the feed. Rest, it's always best to image, image these from the side. Yeah, just like this. For identifying uh, species or time. Great. Okay, science is good. You good, Roll? Yep. All right. Let's go find more treasure. Yeah, thank you. No problem. there. They do. Boring. Oh, That's what? not boring. <laughs> All right. You can come back out, Roll. Good eye. Nothing down here is boring, Jeff. There's treasure everywhere. Oh, yeah, it is. You can zoom on that and the uh, pink one if you have time. The pink coral? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Copy that. This is your favorite, the one that kind of remains fuzzy no matter what you do. We're good on that. All right. Unless you want more rolling, we'll get moving. I didn't set up well. I kind of. The circle is weird. Snap zoom. Hold it. Another example of uh, those boring uh, tubes that we were seeing on uh, one of the earlier dives when we were deep. The concentric rings. All right, we can come back out, Roll. 
I don't have the time to do that really well. Okay, well, Sirius has stopped moving. What do we got out ahead? Uh, the hill is steep. I'm surprised. There must, if this isn't a cliff yet, there must be a big cliff somewhere. I don't know. I'm no geologist, but this amount of rubble down here kind of suggests that whatever's up there is being broken. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've only come up eight meters from the bottom. Yeah, that's Can you true. Can zoom on the purple, please? The purple on the left? Yes. Okay, yeah, take it rolling. Uh, so there's another 92 to be made up somewhere. That's cool. All right, whenever you're ready, Rome. We're still heading up slope. Depth is 21, uh, 22. To the east. And that might get us there. Still the same. Yeah, at least 15. Medium sized boulders, um, small rocks, and uh, rubble material, now. including uh, beds of uh, pebbles. Hey, can we get a ship move, please? 15 meters, 1 5, bearing 0 9 0 at 0 0.1 knots. That's correct, thank you. sediment. If you've got a moment, can you zoom on that uh, rock face uh, in the top right, please? Top right. Sure. The one that's centered up now? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Man, it's easy to stir up this mud. And the urchins, for that matter. All right, can we go part way in video? Partial. Okay, let's see if I can just walk it along the face here. You track focus with me? Yeah, but uh, lighting is hot on the top and dark on the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty marginal, isn't it? Try in the We're middle. We're seeing what we need to see, so. 
Okay. Looks like, uh, can we do a little bit more zoom on those ones that just came in from the right? Yeah. Looks like cup corals, Go maybe. In, roll. Yep, three cup corals. Good. Nice. Oh, and there I go floating off. Nice rolling. I'm just long for your ride, Tom. That's not bad for suboptimal lighting. All right, we're good from a science perspective. Yeah, I have to get the bright spots out in order to bring the dark spots up. All right, you're free yeah. to go up. Copy that. I'm going up as tether allows, till it allows, I'm crisscrossing back and forth. Uh, okay. It looks like a clump directly ahead. A clump? It's like between the two cracks of that rock. The black. If they weren't lasers, it would be just about lasers. Not the actual crack to the left. Oh, a clump of corals. Ah. Yeah, go ahead, Ron. Is it a clump of stuff? Looks like there's at least one thing that once was a cup coral in there. Also looks like there's been a spider here. scientifically inaccurate. Although I think that is a sea spider up there on top. We're good. Come on out, Rome. Can I do a quick snap zoom on the sponge, please? Sure do. Go ahead, Rome. Okay, we're good. You ready, Earl? Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you. Okay, I can tack on another 15 in this direction. Yeah. We're not making the bestest video to end it with. Bridge on now. This dive so far. Hey, could we get the <laughs> same move again? 15 meters, bearing 0, yeah, 090. Yeah, that's probably true. At point 0.1 knots. I did the nice flyby on the crinoid sponge thing. Thank you. No, we've been more kind of tag them and bag them so far. I suppose now we've slowed down some. If you see something you really want, let me know. Yeah, there just hasn't been any amazing, you know, backgrounds and stuff like that. There's something purple up ahead. Yeah, you and I just saw the same thing at Octopus, the same time. No, fish. I bet you it's a fish. I agree. Chimera, maybe? Didn't see anything inside that uh, sponge, Tim. Oh. Can we get in on that fish, please? Yes, we can. Whoa, that was weird. What in the world? It acted like a rock snag? Yeah, it acted like it, but it wasn't. Oh. That wasn't me. Oh, ah. is that a lizard fish? It's hard to see. That was a Fine. fast fish. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I think He's I lost gone. him. Nope, oh, I saw him in Sirius briefly. He's headed for other pastures. Okay.
Okay, we're doing a uh, pilot, co-pilot nav change out. So it'll be a few minutes while they get themselves oriented and uh, information passed from one person to the other. Our depth is 2116. Our local time is 11.59 a.m. UTC 15.59, and today is the 22nd of July. We've been diving along the east wall of Block Canyon. Launched the ROV today around 9.30 a.m. Moving over a large debris field here at the base of the slope. A lot of pebbles and gravel and different size rocks uh, or mudstone, compacted, consolidated mud, several of which are very large detached blocks, very angular and tabular. Yeah, I think we're uh, on the slope right now, so. Hi, Josh. I'm uh, noticing the effect of three regular meals for two weeks. Beginning to uh, develop a paunch. You're beginning, oh yeah? I think, you, I, I think the dryer on the ship is extra hot. <laughs> Oh, you yeah, think your clothes shrink, are yeah, it shrinks clothes my clothes, are shrinking? that's what's going on. I am uh, headed up the hill here, Josh. Uh, there's a little coral right here, and a crab, and a brittle star. <laughs> All <laughs> neatly arranged. Heading in. Give me the zoom on the squat lobster. Squat lobster, I hear from the beach coming up, uh, Tim. Okay, I've gotten a little bit ahead of you. Okay. Hey, Roland, you with me, buddy? Okay, let's come in on a squat lobster, please. Science now. Rise up just a little bit here. That's good for now. Hi, Brendan. Um, are you are you getting ready to switch with Andrea? Yeah, but I up, 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 up. Okay, I just wanted to find out what the and I know we're going to the top, but how we sec. wanted to proceed, um, small moves and stop, or are we pushing through or? There we go. I think you may be drifting back there. I, I am. I uh, takes me a minute to get in the groove here. Permission to zoom in, co-pilot. Josh. Okay. Josh. He's uh, his panel's all out of whack. Somebody. Yeah, Roly is your panel probably. Uh, okay. So you're happy with that? We don't need to move any faster. I was asking for a, a uh, okay zoom. Yes. Um, to that last contour is for serious to get there is about 80 meters. Okay. And I know you're watching, Tim. I'm headed over to this coral. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it'll depend a little bit on what we see, but we can certainly plan the timing appropriately. Oh. All right. All right. 
It seems to be I'm looking at the vector there. It's kind of curly. So we were just around. imaging. Uh, yeah, the ship is just finished. It looks like it is just finished there. 15 meter move. Different. Different. We've it's seen that one. The shrimp inside the classic order. Yep. The red, yeah, on the axis. Or maximum zoom on yeah, the shrimp inside. Okay, I'll see if I can push this in a little bit more. Can you confirm that the shrimp? Bridge nav. Uh, yeah, come Thank out. Thank you, Bridge. Get down there. Um, I cannot confirm that. Hang on. It's oh, yeah. The ship move is complete. Weeds here. Hang on. Can you macro back in on that? Yeah, I just need to get closer. I was out on the south 40 there. Restart the sonar here, Josh. Okay, come on in, Rolly. Are you on the chat room? Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can macro that what shrimp do you there. Um, it's just kicked me out and I can't get back in. Um, so I think I have to reboot my computer. Here, I got both hands full. There you go. Yeah, we've seen that squat lobster yeah, the, the maybe shrimp. three or four times just on this dive, or there looked like there was at least here. Like that one, two or three there times. It just looked different at that point. Yeah. It had spines coming out, out of its back. Yeah. Okay, coming mm -hmm. right just to here. I mean, not different okay, than Rolly, most spot lobsters we yeah. see, I mean. That is Max D. Okay. That looks like an amphipod to me in the Chrysogorgia. No. Thank you, Scott. I, I agree. So. I'll, uh, let okay, know. I think we're good, Dave. Okay, come on, roll. All right, we're going to reboot the encoder for uh, I1 feed. That should hopefully take care okay, of the audio problem. Yeah, I got to get going okay. here. Let's uh, lose the feed for about 10 seconds. Pop a snap zoom on the uh, Brittle Star. Science, are we good to go ahead and keep moving up the hill? Yeah, Roger. Roger. Oh. Yeah, he's got a. It's uh, feeding on something. Looks like a jellyfish. A salp. A salp. Yes, one of the, one of those things. Or is he just rolling over it? Uh, so pilots, we're gonna keep moving up in a small increments of serious moves, 20 meters. Okay, full wide, please roll. I think that interesting feeding Pray posture. Bridge now. What? Scavengers. Yeah, bridge. Like to request another ship move. 20 meters, zero, 090 zero degrees, one tenth of a knot. Roger, thank you. So, guys, I'm going to be out of the chat room for a little bit. I'm rebooting my computer because I can't get back in. I have lots of voices in my head during the time. I'm just checking some of the you guys did you say that they reboot the yep. other ones. Yes, thank you, Roland. Roland is rebooting the I1 stream. Is that Lepidisis on the right, bottom right, and bamboo coral? <laughs> yeah, we'll want to frame that for sure. Let's pop it in there, Roland. Hold. Nope, not a Lepidisis, but a bamboo. Oh, no, a sponge. There we go. Yeah, we have a glass sponge. Brittle star. Barely hanging on. <laughs> and it looks like a little bit of an anemone underneath. Yeah, there is. Well, everybody wants to be here. So short side, uh, the I1 stream has been rebooted and the audio seems to have cleared. We can keep going, Dave. Thank Kay you. Okay, wide, Rolly. Thanks, Roland. Thanks, Roland. Have we gotten a zoom on any of these dot? Oh, those are Chrysogorgia axes. Okay. Is that a, is it, Andrew, is that a yellow coral there on the, on the yeah, right hand side of that? Yeah, yeah, I see that. Tim, yellow gosh, coral. You just so on it. Coming in. Zoom on your command. Again, I get closer. I think I can just prop on the rock here. Looks like maybe another Chrysogorgia.
Okay, if you could help me with the tilt there. Looks centered to me, Dave. Yeah, okay. No. Not a Chrysogorgia. Does that, does that look like the coral we saw yesterday? Like, the... A side view of a Paramaricia, perhaps? Trying to bring it Pops out of the background. Are very it's long. Just not... It might be too close, actually, Roland. I might have overshot with the lights. The axis is, I know what you're talking about, Tim, the one that had a white axis. Yep. Almost looks like a reddish. Yeah, the color is now, sort of actually. blending yeah. in with yeah. the background. Let's come out a second. Let me. Uh, yeah, could you come to the side? That would be great. Like another side. side view coming up. I'll bet it's a C pen. Okay. Looked like it had a bulbous hold fast. Mm. Oops. Oh, there might be a couple of side branches. Drat. Yeah, there are a few side branches off that main axis. Yeah, I think I saw one up right on there. Oh, okay, let's go in, rolling. Brochulid in the back. There's a fish up top. Yeah, it looks like yeah. a brochulid. Sorry about all the dust. It's, it's all right. Definitely, I don't think we've seen this coral. It looks different to me. Really long polyps. Uh, let's come out here. Let me, uh, let me see if I can set this up a little better. So now I'm back to, you know, the side view of Paramaricia, except that it's not Paramaricia. This might be something like uh, Placagorgia that we saw the other day. We were wondering, had the lighter colored axis. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's zoom back in, rolling. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Could this be a something growing on a different coral? It looked like the stalks. It's possible. Um, I don't know that that was my impression. Very large polyps. Is this worthy of uh, continued study? Or? I thought this might be a sea pen. Well, the fact that it confuses um, No, that's them. good, Dave. Thank you. Okay. Let's uh, let see if I can line up, get a really good uh, macro for still frame and I think the top would be the best. Okay, go on in. The top is where I got the best uh, yeah. contrast. So just catch it when it stop moving here. I'm not going to be able to hold any steadier than that without we'll go with it. additional fussing about. And I'm gonna, as I rise up, zoom on the fish here. Okay, following fish. A 
bridge now. And close up Take of the bridge. It's interesting that when we uh, moved the ROV yeah. and blasted that colony with some uh, currents and sediments, none of those polyps retracted. Oh, really? And you've imaged this uh, white hexactinellid glass sponge, correct? We did earlier, one similar looking. Okay. Oh, well. Very large debris field upslope. Okay, thanks, Roland. Is that a fish on the left? There's something over there. We'll go with rock. Nope. It's darker rock. Something for the geologists. Pay no attention to the dust cloud. Moving on. Little shrimp down there. It appears there are less corals upslope than there were at the base. There are s numerous chrysogorgid colonies. Is this your impression? I was gone for a little bit, but as we've been moving upslope, did the coral colonies kind of peter out in abundance? From here, it seems to be about the same. That the scientists yeah, that's, a good, that's a good general impression. That's your general impression, Tim? Okay. Ooh, zoom red. Oh, that's the yes. crab again. Just kind of float by for an ID here. Interesting white thing upper left. Yeah, I'll head there next. I think it's just a rock face. Most likely. Oh, there you go. Let's pop in a zoom. Hold. This guy's active. The other ones we were looking at uh, okay. was not. A little more zoom. A lot of spines down the middle of its back. Yeah, okay, come out. That's good, thank you. That's just a particularly bright piece of rock. Shoreside lost I1, Internet 1, Stream 1. Can we get a zoom on some of those circular yeah. rock structures on the left? Oh, rocks, circular rocks on left. They look like uh, maybe this oh, 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 tubes. Oh, 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 you see them all? Oh, oh yep. Looks like fossil maybe, uh, coral. Okay, zoom please, Roland. Uh, I2 is breaking up as well. Okay. There's some out in the light. And then... I'm gonna go down and to the right. Yes, thank you. Closer, more distinct. Yeah, the ones on the right. Yeah, they look, look like, like burrows. The, maybe the serianthid burrows. Okay, Roland, zoom again, please. Yeah, and all the feeds are completely out. Yeah, I guess we're working on it. I think they know. Okay. Um, right now we're imaging you know, we saw those columnar structures in, uh, was it Al Alvin or Atlantis Canyon? And these just look like sl like slices through something like that. So concentric rings around a center tube, um, but not very thick, maybe just a few centimeters thick. And it looks more, not as consolidated or hard. 
if it's useful information for the technical folks, um, in addition to the videos all being out, we can hear the Explorer Now interview on uh, Stream 3, although there's no video, all the screens are blank. You can hear Exploration Now, Stream 3, audio. Okay. They're nodding their heads. Yeah. That's good, Dave. Thank you. Okay. Just wanted to get a clear picture. Yeah, I won. Uh, I want me to I pop up and have a look. And looks pretty stable. Popping up. Urchins are abundant here. Our depth is 2098. I think what you see is that. That which is before me. Yeah, really you broken up got uh, that little uh, rock blocks here, mudstone, a lot of gravel, phase. pebbles, several different sizes of these rocks. Looks like another squat lobster. Yeah. H. Peter Sy Urchin. Okay. Okay, let's just see. Are we going to be moving up slope from here? That's good. Hold on. Yeah, that. we're continuing up slope. Okay, great. Yep. Science now. Are we good to keep moving? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Bridge, are we now? A little more zoom. The bridge, we'd like to yeah. repeat that move, 20 meters, oh, well, zero nine zero degrees, one-tenth of a knot. The brittle star. Oh, yeah. Thank you, bridge. That's just sediment. Pilots, another 20 meters. On the spines. Coming to you. And you can see the tube feet. We're happy with that when you are. Okay, wide, really. Unless you want to play. Okay, hang on. Okay. There you go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can make it better. A little center up so I can yeah. hide the light around it. There you go. like to fill the frame with We're just imaging it. a purple sea okay. urchin. Just kind of teetering on the rock in the current here. Yeah. I think we got too much teeter for this guy. We're at a depth of yeah. 2092 meters. Yeah. Find another one later. Ah, okay. Sure. And we're going to continue up slope. I see no walls of Jericho yet. No, it's, uh, you know, a fairly steep slope, I believe. The degrees was around 45, but definitely no vertical walls here. Oh, but we did see the vertical walls up the canyon, towards the head of the canyon. More broken rock here. Andrea, do you see the comment from Brian in the IM? There's a coral. Can we get a zoom out on the nav? Looks like a nice flat place to sit down, Dave. Yeah. Can we make our way towards the the waypoint T1, are we doing that? Okay, we're rolling. going up the slope. It'll probably get pretty flat. I think we can get yeah. a if you're wide, right medium, tight shot of this guy. Um, yeah, hang on. We haven't uh, 
done much of that on this entire cruise. But we can adjust our course and come a little focus. bit and start coming across. Yeah, that would be good. Thanks. It's about a 10 degree difference. So if we can just hold that steel, we'll let this be our tight. Okay, there you go. Give that uh, 10 more seconds of that. And then go for a full frame. Tilt it up just a little bit. Can you get that for me, Josh? I'm in full on clinch mode here. Okay. Get 10 seconds of that. And then one medium wide shot. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking down. We have a black coral. Did you? Could you zoom in on that again? Yeah, give us just a second. Science. So uh, getting three. Sorry, uh, Dave. Three shots. Okay. Got a pretty good view of the black coral. Oh, we did. Okay, we're good. I just missed it. I was reading the chat. It's in the can. Thank you. Flying off, Rolly. And we're going to adjust our course okay. a little bit to the south. So either sidle over or yeah, we'll head towards do. 110. Just going to run up here and look at this sponge and then sidle. Sidle eye? Yeah, it's a sponge. Well, I don't know if it's a sponge, but there's yeah, another Chrysogorgia yeah, too. Yeah. Okay. And then some little. Charlie Brownish thing right there. And fish under the rock. Look how it caves there. Like it maybe used to flow over this area or something to undercut it. Yeah, can we get a zoom on the fish? Snap zoom. Yep, pop it in, Rolly. He's hiding, hiding, hiding. And the brachulid. Yep. Got him. Okay. Uh oh, I'm out of here. Sorry. I was just kind of flying by on my way to realignment here. And right now we're moving south along the wall here. That's what you saw, Josh. It's steeper over here in front of you. It is a bit steeper here. If I look down, a few more ledges, but still not the type of vertical walls we were seeing up the canyon. And away we go. Can you uh, snap zoom under one of those ledges, Dave? Under? Under? I've kind of blasted it with my prop wash here, but let's have a look. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you, Bridge. Okay, let's pop it in, rolling. If I recall the Hold. map from last night, I think the um, yeah. steepest slopes were at around 1,800 meters or so. Can uh, Brian confirm that? And just to reiterate, we're going in the, there was three upslope transects, so we're on the middle one right now. Day. Okay, there we go. Just wanted to yeah, confirm Roger that. that. I understand okay. that.
But I don't believe 1,800 meters were in the depth range at all. It's, it was a little deeper than that. Okay, go back in, Rowan. Okay, yeah, that's, Just that's get what a quick I'm look hoping Brian can let me know. Yeah, where waypoints are deeper than 1,800. A few anemones, glass sponges. Okay, I gotta go. There's a uh, one of those fellows octopus. So we are We've picking up a, a bit of a steeper slope here. Our depth is 2085. Can you zoom in, please, Rolly? Yeah, hold that right there. Anthemastus. Anthemastus. Okay, out. Thank you. Chrysogorgia. Yeah, could you pan to the right, Dave? Okay, my head is due south there. You can see the general steepness of the terrain, mm -hmm. lots of... Uh, about 45 degrees. Yeah, lots of uh, stuff coming down. A lot of collapse structure here. We're at a depth of 2078. Science, are we good to keep moving up towards? Yes, please. Another 20 meters, pilots? Sure. We're going to adjust our course to 105. 105, got that. Bridge, are we now? <coughs> Bridge requesting another ship move, 20 meters, 105 degrees, one tenth of a knot. Oh, here we go. Roger that. Thank you. We've got the incised channels again. Yeah, coming up a wall. We're at a depth of 2074. Much steeper here. Be cautious of falling rocks with all that rubble we saw below. It's a hard hat area. I'm going to call out the latitude and longitude. Uh, it's 39, 39.8969 39 north, 71 degrees, 11.7155. Thanks, Taylor. Okay. Can you zoom in under one of those ledges? Yeah, I hit it there. You mean going right over the edge? Yeah. We're at a depth of 2072. Our local time is 1234, and we're diving a deep portion of the east wall of Block Canyon. This up here. Just come up a bit of a steeper slope now.
Oh, I'm sorry, Andy. I uh, the the uh, sediment is kicked up some sediment. Yeah, I kicked up some sediment. Yes, I is indiscreet in my approach. Let me slide over this way and see if I can uh, prove it going up current. Very noticeable current out of the south here. I really assume, uh, assume in here, please. Tilt up, and I'm just going to pan right, or left rather here. I've made a total mess of this. Full wide. Okay, let's zoom in from here. A couple of dead cup corals. Yeah, it's not, not a lot going on here. Different sea star on top. Mostly dead corals here. Okay, let's come wide, Rolly. Get out of this neighborhood here. And something different. Do you see something different? Mm. Different color, different shape, different S sediment staining. <laughs> There was a different sea star I saw. Well, the texture of the rocks changing. This looks more muddy. Lack of colonization here. It's one lone coral right in the center of the screen. And then this looks like something broke loose. Long coral. I don't see it. It's gone. We've got a horizontal layering here. Yeah, I'll come back to it. Heading southeast. That's a, a really beautiful shot of, of the layering in the wall. We got crinoids. Persingids. Sea stars. Now, just around that corner is probably an upcurrent facing. Yeah, can yeah, we scoot around those. that? I don't know how far I can get, but this is. Peek, uh, peek around it. Peek. See if we can have a peak experience. There's actually a good chance that we're actually in very small uh, landslide failure uh, scar areas. Uh, the, the, the
huge amount of debris at the bottom of the slope means these walls are, are constantly coming apart. Um, I think it's fairly active, that's what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, pretty thin sediment cover. There might be a decent current, but, uh, yeah, the, this, this place is falling apart at a pretty rapid rate. That's the, the technical term for it. Well, Josh, no, hexactinella glass sponges. Don't, don't drive like I do, because I'm. I've been thrashing around trying to cover a lot of ground, and I'm constantly making a mess here. So I'm gonna try a kinder, gentler approach. Can you, Nav, can you zoom all the way out? I need to give shore side a view of our navigation. So, so our ship is actually south of us right now, and we are currently in between the, t the two upslope transects. You, you proposed three. We're in the middle one right now. Um, so the, the promontory is to the south of us. So we could do either one. We could go north um, or south, whatever you guys prefer. And I'm hearing maybe move along a contour a little deeper than we are now. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you, Bridge. So this cloud here, Josh, that blew all the way up the hill from when I pushed off that wall. Hello. Hey guys, it's Brian. Hi Brian. Brian. Just, Glad uh, you got on the phone. That's the place I'm yeah, looking at. Thanks. Yep. Dude, it might be easier to do this in real time. Yeah. Um. Right. So we're still a bit from the waypoint T1. Um, and I don't think we need to go all the way to it if we if our plan is to traverse. Okay. We could uh, make that decision soon. What's our depth right now? We're at 2058. So we're definitely seeing steeper slopes here. And you were saying around 2050? Oh, yeah, Brendan. Was the highest? Here. Yeah, um, 2050. And uh, actually, really, between 2060 and 2030 are the highest slopes that I'm showing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we'd want to... We need to make a decision before we... Because when we get to 2040 or even 2030, it's we gonna should flatten out. That's what we've seen. Yeah. And make our decision because shallower than that, it gets less steep. Right. And particularly, it would get much less steep if we choose the southern option. If we hug the 2020 contour, mm -hmm. and that it actually creeps out of the greater than 36 degree slope range if we go south on that contour. So that's our decision. Round. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, okay. Hey, there's your... We can come back down, though, as well. Um, we can move either direction. It's it's really up to you guys what you'd like to see. Science. Um, but we can move... It's right to move in, uh, to zoom a, back in. A little deeper, I Moving would back down is an option. I didn't Bridging know whether... What the pilot shelf there. Oh, that's too steep. Well, actually, that far away... Maybe it's not so critical, then, that we worry about what... Know, going too shallow and you can always come back. Um, it, uh, yeah, it's interesting geologically. We're not seeing a lot of fauna at all, attached fauna yeah. here. Um, yeah. So, so the, the higher slopes were to the north of us. Can we get to right, the... Right, Brian? Mm -hmm. There's a patch of next, the, the next highest sl over? Yeah. slope patch. The next highest slope patch is to the north of us. However, the promontory, and that would take us through sort of a, a 
a minor promontory, but the most pronounced promontory is to our south. south. Right. As you can see. All right. Yeah, that's. So I'm up really for either. I mean, okay. I'd like to hear other people's. It's still hard to tell. To but and Scott. It's probably a fishing line. Especially. I don't see how. Yeah, I'm uh, sitting here trying to look this map and and uh, you know debate the merits of either one, but you know I can't come up with one versus another. Yeah. Uh, the steep slope is good. The promontory is good. Um, I guess I'm back to, you know, given the the currents and the way the the vehicle is streaming from the vessel, I would go with whatever is easiest for ship moves to uh, to do at this point. Yeah. The currents are moving from south to north, correct? Correct. The canyon so far? Yep. That's a good reason to aim at that promontory then, huh? I, th I think so. I think we should yeah. go there. We can come back I down and worth keep in mind. go along a, a bit of a deeper depth. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, yeah we can start making that. If you don't want to get to the top of this. What's our distance to waypoint one right now, Nev? We have some live cup corals under this ledge here. 40 meters, 60 meters. So we're 60 meters to 2T1. OK. Now, what have you, and it reminds me what you called the, the southern top waypoint. Is that called T3 still? Or is it T2? I think it's T2, yeah. Yeah, it's T2. Okay. And that's, okay. That, that looks to be, just, you know, what contour we would follow to get there. Twenty forty. Twenty thirty. We're at 2054 now. Um, Maybe 2060? Yeah, I mean, I think we could go as shallow as 2040 and then start moving along that contour over towards T2. Okay. Had a, and come down at a deeper really contour. Soft and we're seeing nothing, we could always gradually come down. Cool. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. What do you want to do? Um, just start coming down after we will come up to about 2040. And then do what? And then go to the promontory. Is that a Chrysler we're passing there on the top? Yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah. Tim, uh, were you going to say something? Oh, no, there's your groove right there. No, I guess I'll just call out the Chrysler Gorgeous up there. And I do agree with going to the large promontory. Okay. Is that another one of those lines we were seeing in the rock? Yes. Similar channel type thing right now. Right yeah. now. Yeah. Pilots in. Yes. Co-pilot or kind of in the center top of the screen, mm -hmm. nosing around. One of those debris shoots, but uh, Jason was pointing out earlier they look a little bit different than what we saw earlier yeah. in the week. Down below it bifurcates. There's a faint. Bifurcation right in the see, middle. I don't of the see how right it now. could be deeply incised right there, yeah, Josh. I'm, I'm that's that a, that, are, that are close to the base. To the that's something. I, that's what I was looking uh, for. Yeah, a rope, a rope could do that. Than, yep. uh, something else. They, they seem seem prominent in areas where we have debris blocks at the, the base of the slope. Uh, yep, that's that's what I was know, looking for. Obviously, you can't rule anything out at so this just point, but uh, you know they're turns. They don't have that white marking. Yeah, goes, it's, it's, goes back it's out. It would have bridged type, that. So yeah. you're not, uh, Bridge that area there. Unless, you're, unless it's pulling a weight or an uh, anchor or something. Yeah, look at how but, deeply incised yeah. it is down no, at the they bottom. They still don't seem yeah. like fractures or, or joints in the rock. They don't seem pervasive. So it's. Uh, a little bit of a mystery, but they they do share a similar kind of form. Yeah, and even that, not, it's coming uh, it's coming down too much. Not exactly. If that line was pulled tight. It wouldn't cut in like that. Look like mini canyons just beginning to form. 
have to stop somewhere. We're at a depth of 2052. Yeah, go ahead, Brennan. <laughs> Source idea of stream two back. It's another crinoid. Right there. Well, I don't know how deep that's cut in. No, yeah, that's okay. So they don't want to go back down to the base of that. Yeah, it seems to follow concave angles, which something under tension just couldn't do. Yeah. There's a big one coming up here. Yeah. That's not man-made. Can see how it widens out. Yeah. Hey, Jason, do you want a DVL target here? Uh, no, no, that's fine. Um, uh, it's not uh, something that's pretty okay. interesting here. Just trying to keep track of where we're going. Why don't you do, uh, maybe, Brendan? Maybe just explain to me one level higher what what you want to do. Andrew, and, I'll that long? Come, and I'll maybe suggest a plan on how to do it. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm pushing it a little bit here just to see see where this big crack goes. Did we uh, lose them? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Okay, EX is still transmitting. Okay. I'm here. I'm still here on the uh, short side, but I haven't heard Andrea or Brendan. Yeah, we're still here. here. Sorry, we've been discussing with Nav our option Hello. and how we're going to move. Oh, there she is. Yep. Sorry about that. I'm here. I'm going to push out. I'll give you a little tug. So the ship size scientists are having like a sidebar discussion here. with Nav in reference to the next plan moves. Right. The problem is going to be going down. You know, the same thing is just if we go along the 2060 contour. That's basically where Sirius is right now, and we'd be coming up, and then this promontory sticks out, so we got to move really slowly to get around that, and then we're still 100 meters above where you want to be. So then dropping down that 100 meters um, where we haven't come up and we don't know what it looks like, you know, we'd have to come up off and do it with sonar again. So if, if you want to see stuff along this 2060 contour, we can do that. And then when we get over here to this steeper section, then come off and drop down to that and see what's there. <laughs> okay, we can do that. that yep, yeah. yep, that works too. Yes. All right. We can do that. Are, are we? So, do we want to get all the way up here to what is that? Twenty forty or something? Yes, all right. So we want to keep moving up. Okay. We'll keep moving up. Josh, why don't you jump in here? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so we'll keep moving Practice east your and get up flying. here to 
waypoint two T one, and then uh, and then come back down. Okay, we're back. Brendan has yeah, an no update. Problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is continue up uh, as far along this transect as we uh, want to go. Uh, and then the easiest thing to do is to, if we don't wanna leave the, uh, the surface of the wall is to back down the same way we came up and then get down right, pilots, along um, that route to a depth that we want to work discussion uh, with laterally um, along. We're gonna um, and so my suggestion would be to, to go keep on this probably back down to degrees about or so uh, 2,000 to T uh, meters one. and work that contour over so towards should our flatten uh, out a fair bit. waypoint and then, on uh, they go the promontory. Back down. 2,000 um, meters, 2,000 and what? Either and we can talk about how to best do right that. Now. But for now, we're just going to move the waypoint. You mean go up to 2,000? No, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, and come back down to, like to, to 2060 the deeper or area something at the beginning like that. of this and go sideways. So We're at 20. Sounds we're at 2050, good. right? Yeah. yeah. So we have a current bridge over you now. Is that what I'm feeling here? 2047. Uh -huh. We're at 20, yeah. Be pushing you so left. Yeah, but go down. No, go down to 2,000. Oh, no, no way, no, 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 up. sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. 2100? Yeah, 2100, sorry. I'm not thinking very clearly this morning or this afternoon. 2100. Venus flytrap. Basically go down to the contour where, you, where we have the snap, go, uh, uh, left, DVL sorry, target left, at uh, a sedimented slope. So, an enemy. so we can come uh, up. Yeah, yeah. When we get so there. exactly. Yeah. Okay. 2100, sorry. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Sorry, um, this is not critical, Andrea, but the the lat long, you, the most That's recent one you let out appears to be either uh, serious or shit. It can't be the ROV because yeah. it's way back off where. It's unambiguous. Uh, yeah, I need to get more. What our depth would indicate. Specific. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. Just on the bridge, are we now? Did you say video? I thought you were ready to zoom. Yep. Seventy-one, eleven point six nine eight eight. See, is Taylor typing that We'd like to request another ship move. 30 meters, one zero zero degrees. If you could read that one more time, or if someone could type it in, I, I didn't. 39, uh, you can go in 39, yeah, 17, left has a 71, eleven point six nine eight four. Roger that. Thank you. Yep. Okay, thank you. That's max zoom. I think you're drifting in. So the one yeah, I entered before is incorrect? Let's not see where I am. I don't think it was the yeah. ROV. I that read the check. ROV It'll one, so. Check. Yeah. Uh, those currents it might have not have been a good point, but I read the Just ROV that back. long. Okay. Yeah. Because I can't Carl. even read the ship one. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Josh. All right, I wasn't listening to you there, Science. Now I am. All right, are we happy with that? Pink to the left of that. Yes, Can I did not it? see. Center. So as, did everybody, we get a good view of the bathopathies? Oh, it's just core, uh, those guys. Science, we got a yeah, I think we're good nice with shot. Okay, good, thank you. OK, so good, good, Josh. All right. All right, we got something up above me here. Is it possible to zoom in on the back of We uh, did so zoom in on that. Monitor. Can you zoom in on that coral on? This guy? Yep. All right, you can go zoom in video. Dead. Dead coral. Large brittle star. All right, I'm getting 
too close. Oh, thank you. That's dust. good. Whoa. That's usually about the place where I say uh, jump up and push ahead, leave the crime scene, but that's. Uh, just have to go gently. You can come. Same thing can happen if you come tearing in too fast and have to break. But out, once you get out in the water column, you can thrash a little bit. Our depth is 2042. Local time is 1300. Ship's starting to move. So am I. Still pretty s steep up ahead. Yeah. So we're reaching that depth of 2040. I've seen a few bathopathies, black corals, upslope, um, but generally the more abundant corals were downslope at the base, mostly. A few cup corals growing under ledges, but not many. So a steep slope is still s enough of a sediment cover to not allow recruitment to occur. This seems like a very dynamic area too. A lot of fallen blocks and hey, failures. Yeah. This guy? Another glass sponge with a few brittle stars. All right, come out. And drift in, get myself stable. Does uh, Jason recall the um, the rock type when we were at a, the shallower depth in this canyon in Block Canyon, where we saw all the bamboo? So you're 25 out. meters out, so just uh, work side with, to uh, side until I saying, catch you know, up. That slope okay. had no sediment. This has quite a bit of sediment. Let's look under this ledge. Um, yeah, we all were right, probably in that will combinate uh, rich material. Further uh, in in the shallower dives, a sea star? I think That's we're a here in a, a more mudstone. Uh, okay. you know, probably a fast not a lot of carbonate in left. Uh, But I, I oh, really yeah, he's think the the, right, the you can come in more. Probably more than the sediment being an issue. I think it's an extremely partial. dynamic uh, area in terms of of uh, being rather unstable. Um, Right, that's that's why I was asking about the rock type. So this uh, appears to crumble more, or you know. Yes, yeah, this is a weaker rock. Mm -hmm. It's a lot younger. It's probably only semi-lithified here. Um, we're talking potentially five million years or younger. Well, corals wouldn't have the opportunity really to get to a good size before the uh, the, the bottom gave way, perhaps. Yeah, I uh, I'm not sure what kind of. What, Kind of currents are in here, but you can just see them from like the images here. There's, there's evidence of, of pieces falling off. Um, these thin plates that, that seem to be just falling off the slope, in addition to those large tabular blocks that are coming down from above. So um, even if one part is stable, uh, a part above may be very unstable and just coming down and knocking anything off that is even able to uh, attach itself there. So uh, not a very uh, hospitable place to, to, to make a home, I wouldn't think. I mean, it looks like the boring organisms are, are, are active here and uh, are somewhat successful at making homes, but even, even they are, you know, the wall crumbles pretty quickly. Um, you know, even up here, just above an area with a lot of potentially bio-erosion is this fresher faces. Partial zoom on the shrimp. Yeah. So lithologically, a very different yeah, environment. I, I can believe that it, it does, you know, uh, 
Right, very out. much so partial. control what is able to survive here. Great, Charlie. Now too close. Too close. Come out all the way. You are wide. Thanks, Jason. Yes, I am way too close. Yeah, Bridge, could we and, um, extend this move out dust. another 20 meters? So I add another 20 meters, same course, same speed. <sighs> Roger that. Thank you, Bridge. Is that a crack in the wall or to the right? Coral. I need to see cracks or holes. Okay, thanks. I think that's a crack. You mean on the right side? Yeah, I see it now above the burrow. Yeah. So I've got to come back to my left here. So we're at a depth of 2036. Um, do we all feel like continuing up to the top? Do we get to waypoint T1? Coral on Can the you right. zoom, Coral? All right, video. Stand by. Okay. All right, partial. All right, go ahead in. It's a partial. You're drifting back. Yep. The Chrysogordia. There's some dark material in there. I don't know if that's a. Can you macro into the coral? Um, if you hold it, I can snap it. I think they're seeing the base. Go ahead. Max soon. Hmm. It's hard to see what that is. Still drifting back. Yeah, I, I can't tell. Is it circular? Yes. That sure Was looks like those uh, octopus egg cases we were seeing, Tim, on the seamount. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it is, but I want to be sure before, for more, have some more certainty. Did you say an octopus egg case? Yes, you yeah, were finding uh, octopus fun. eggs that were out of covered, covered eggs. Um, Gordon. Oh, interesting. All right, come out. Roll. It's hard to keep steady here. Yeah, there's a lot of current, and I'm pretty far it's out. It's like a pretty big uh, hole fast on this thing. All right. Okay, Josh, I'm closing with you 16 meters. All right, so Are I gotta get moving. Again? Yeah, we're going back in again. Yeah, great, thank you. Okay. One quick zoom and then we gotta go. You're asking for one more? Yes, quick. Sorry, it's best the lanes will go. Just trying to see it where the branches try to look at the this top circular thing. Thingy. All right, that's all we can We're do. Gotta go. Yeah. Moving too much. All right, coming up. Is that on the bottom left? Is that a coral? Yes. Can you guys snap zoom on that? What do you think, Dave? Yeah, you can just pop it in real quick. I can get it from that. All right, you go can ahead. Hold it. Did you mean that white thing, Andrea? Just let yourself rise up past it. 
Oh, it's a sponge. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Come out, Rowan. Now you got to go up. All right, I got to go. Look at that cracked line. Don't be afraid to give it some gas. And a little shove ahead. Dave, you are not zoomed. I know that. Few bracingids. Am I coming up too fast for you, Dave? Can you look at that black structure on the you right? You can push ahead now. Get a little closer uh, to the wall. Well, actually, we do not have time right now. So okay. I'm sorry. Thanks. Yeah, okay. this is too uh, close for comfort. Surface staining. It's quite but steep. Close to look would be. Uh, yes. Again. There you got some room. That was uh, a bit too close there, Dave. Mm. Ah, you are all right. Are we on the top? <laughs> <laughs> we are at a bench. May or may not be the top. It's definitely flattened out considerably in sonar. This might be it. We do that uh, left right I'd rotation to see the edge. So you hang the lights over the edge. Can we zoom in on those black rock looking things yep. if possible? Josh, can you uh, zoom in on the black specks on the bottom? Sure can. I don't crash into it. We're at a depth of 2015 at the top. All right, we can go in, Roland. It's like pebbles. Perfect, thank you. All right, go wide. Is that an octocoral attached? Yeah. Okay, um, I think when we get settled, we can start our move. What do you think, Brendan? Yeah, I'd say we should start our move. Any Just other close-ups here, shore side? Okay. Just jump up and have a look into the distance, Josh. Bridge over, you know. Yeah, this is definitely we have left the in the current move. Two meters, great, thank you. Can we just reach the top of this feature and you can see, again, hundreds of the Ophio Museum type brittle stars. We saw these um, at the base as well very abundant at the base of the slope. So pilots, the next move is going to be back down to the, not quite the base, but almost the base of this slope. So we're just going to... meters down and 100 meters across. Retrace roughly. our uh, ascent. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's another stock to crinoid.
We're about at the same level here, Dave. Yeah. So what Bridge you can do is just thank you. Just stay here. Yeah, as I back up, you can. Uh, well, let's see here. Well, we're you're still swinging towards me. Yeah. So you gotta come up. Science now. Yeah, Brendan, so uh, we're good to go ahead and make our way back down the slope. And are you, you have high pack, right? How far down do you want to go? Do you want to be like here, on that contour? There. Can we pan up a little? See what's up all the way up slope? Can we pan up? There's a lot of these black pebbles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing It'll probably come down slow. Any hard targets ahead of us. Can we zoom no, on uh, that uh, pink uh, We're talking about moving back yep. slope. We're um, getting ready to do that. So, so pilots, we're just going to go uh, west uh, to the Sirius and ribbon. balloon straight. No, ribbon. There's obviously a big party off this coast. So what was back that? We're going to back up? We're going to back up. All right. So we're just going to back up the way we came so we know what it is. There was, you know, a few ledges, but... No nasty spires we can back into, and we'll uh, just get some distance. You know, you won't be able to be too terribly close to the to what you see in the camera. So we can Good be you, Dave. Yeah. Bridge, are we now? Yeah, Bridge, we'd like to retrace our steps. So we'd like to request a ship move of 110 meters at 270 degrees, one-tenth of a knot. Copy that. Thank you, Bridge. Can we get a you got floating there. Yep. Okay. Snap. Thank you. Go ahead. It's like a piece of coral. No. That's a cell. We're just getting ready to make our ship move. Um, we're going to head back down slope so we can lateral south towards the promontory. So, Josh, I'm going to bring my head north until you go over the edge and then swing my head back east. Gonna, gonna lead you a little bit with my view here. So you want me to go port? Yeah, left. All right. Around. I don't think so. There's not. There's not a lot of records. Uh stalked crinoid. Another stalked crinoid.
crinoid. Can we get snap zoom on the crinoid? Which guy is that? That's the stocked the one stock. with the feather uh, yeah. on top. Uh, Pilots now, the ship has started to move. Okay. That's okay. Oh, I wasn't trying to rush you, I was just telling you. That was late. Yeah, plenty of time. Notice, sorry. Now well, we gotta get Josh used to to dashing hither and thither with nary a care. Well, he's not senior enough to snap at the back row yet. <laughs> All right, so I got to get in position. I can't. That's okay. We can keep okay. going. Well, he's we we have time. He's, uh, we're not gonna, we're, we're not going to let you bail out yet, Josh. <laughs> Where is it? It's like 20 meters to my right now. Oh, 20 meters. Well, that's no, different. No, I mean like 10 meters. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. That's all right. Just tell him, Sam. Pick up that pink the shrimp pilot. there on the right <laughs> center if you wish. What's that? You can get that pink shrimp there at the lower right of your image. All right. That'd Go ahead, video. Zoom in. That'll give you something <laughs> to appease your co-pilot. <laughs> That's true, Tom. Only uh, when he can snatch the pebble from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pilot in training. All right. All right, so we want to go down this hill. And that's where it gets interesting. Can you get a zoom coming up, the large white object? on the left of your video. Can you get a zoom on the large white object on the left? Sure can. Thanks. I can get it from here. All right, go ahead. Oh, wow. That what is that? It's a few urchins. Is that a Looks bone? Nice. It's has a bony Ooh, feature sure. to it. Looks like bones. Does look like a bone. Tim, are you looking at this? Back, back, back. just uh, yeah, just a smidge of reverse. Giant do. Uh, I think I'm on the ground. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Tilt. Tilt. Yeah. Not quite. All right, go ahead. Hey, Jason, I can hear you chatting you with somebody else in the background. Yeah, go ahead. Can you tilt? That's right. He's got yeah. all the down he can get. Gotcha. Let me back up. Just yeah, ever so gently. Can we uh, have everyone short side? Just check your uh, intercoms. Uh, we hear an open intercom with a conversation in the background. It's getting recorded on the archives. Can you come a out little lat a little lateral to the left will get you off of okay. there too. Yeah. Ever so gently. There you go. Now you're Ooh. free. Ooh. Now you got your right foot stuck. No, <laughs> you're all right. You're all clear. Yeah. I'll tilt for you. All right, go ahead, Roland. He's not making it easy on you, is he? What in the world? <laughs> it's not bones. It's broken sponge.
plastic? Uh, yeah, maybe. The urchins look like they're feeding on it, though. Come partial rolling. Looks like a bone. All right. Pull out. I don't know. Don't know. So just work back towards me along here. I got your tilt. Hang on. Oh, okay. Oop. Now you've got your tilt back. And just work along the edge of the hill back towards me. I, uh, I apologize for not hitting the mute button earlier. That's okay. It's more sandy sediment up it there. It wasn't that interesting, I promise. Because <laughs> I think otherwise we would have been in a dust cloud. Okay, my heading is northeast, so I'm gonna. We didn't get the swing let before. You slide you to have the right. Time for a right swing. You did a left swing before. What are you talking about? Looking down the edge, throwing oh, the lights yeah. on the wall. Yeah. So you can push in a little closer to the wall as you as you go. If I were you, I would follow this break down because that's where the interesting stuff is. Because we'll get pulled off the wall if we don't get down uh, fairly quickly. Depth is 20 20. We're coming back down slope. When you continue to lateral right, my head's northeast. Pretty lined up here. Again, you can see the horizontal layering and the wall face. You're pretty far out there. I didn't want to. Yeah, you need to push in. I didn't want to kick in any gain for fear of making you think you were closer than you are. That's his maximum iris, no gain. There you go. That's a good distance to work down on. And I'll just follow you. use your uh, mini Zeus as a good down looker as well. Although it seems like they're about the same. You can probably tilt mini Zeus down. We're at a depth of 2030. Yeah. The that. local time is 1328. Today is the 22nd of July. We are surveying the continental We're now slope transmitting along the mini the east wall of Bont Canyon. Feet too. My name is Andrea Quattrini. Brendan Rourke is sitting on my left. And I want to say hello and Give thanks to all the people that are with us on the phone and on shore. AJ Turner, Brian Kennedy, Brian Kinlan, Catalina Martinez, Cheryl Morrison, Jason Chater, Jay London, Casey Cantwell, Mike Vecchione, Nicola, 
Inspector Bob Carney, Scott France, Taylor Heil, and Tim Shank. Thank you guys so much for being with us during this dive today. Dave, you see that mark on the front rail of the drawer? Uh, Definitely not a lot of attached stamp, still there. here. Which camera are you looking at? Right oh, there. that? Yeah. A few sponges. We'll check it out. I think we got a our few corals. first first scratch on the new vehicle. Although some of these, it's well, right now it's pretty smooth, but some of the it's rocks do appear to be heavily cruise. bored. Maybe boring sponges, really? polychaetes. Yeah. I think um, manipulator training might oh. be. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I did that. <laughs> it's hard to tell who did it. I it looks so. like an A. Maybe Andy O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> no, put his initials in it before he left. <laughs> well, Todd and I were having a little fun with a manipulator handshake one day, and that that might be a result of that. Looks like I'm at the bottom of something here. Yeah. You You're six meters off of uh, a little shelf there coming down to meet you. The other thing you can do is look right and left and get get an idea what's uh, coming. Fight trap an enemy. <laughs> Getting pretty desperate <laughs> back there, aren't you, Andy? <laughs> no, not desperate. I just was pumping myself up. <laughs> Actinoscyphia. Can we get a zoom on those bright white round objects coming into our view now? Sure can. Thank you. Go ahead, video. That's what they look like. Urchins, rolling. Ha, ha, ha. Was that a pun on words? Because <laughs> urchins do have tests. <laughs> or were you testing me? <laughs> All of the above. Uh, <laughs> I detest the direction that this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take any more punishment. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Come wide, bro. The gauntlet has been dropped. It's open season. I missed it. Just a reminder that this is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little fun here today in the control van. We have had a great two weeks out at sea. Exploring canyons, seep areas, mouths, heads of canyons, landslide scars all along the continental slope of the northeast U.S. coast. You can zoom in on it. There you go. Yeah. An enemy. Looks like it might have come down with the rock that it's attached can to. Can you actually pan up? There's another white anemone, I think. You see it? Yeah. yeah. On that rock right there. Yeah. Oh, there are two Holothurians. All right. Not in enemies. So I think you've got a little bit of a step to maneuver yeah. over here. I'm getting a... Take a look to your right and see oh, oh, oh. how to get out of there. Is that a Ganos uh, bristlemouth?
So Dr. Bob Carney is saying that these are very deep for those holothurian sea, cum sea cucumbers we were just imaging. Oh, you got room to go down. I think it's a shrimp. Yep, shrimp. Come back to my left. Again, you can see numerous Ophiocium, Ophiomuseum, Ophiomuseum uh, type brittle stars and the white urchins all along the face of this cliff. So the holotharians that we were just imaging are in the family Solidae. Um, they are actually suspension feeding holotharians with the crown of tentacles and the anus on the dorsal cone. There you can zoom in really. Chrysogorgia. Not seeing any associates. There's oh, maybe one, one. Yep. yep. An amphipod. Uh, all right, I'm getting kind of close. We're at a depth of 2052. Bridge now. You're full wide. Copy that. Thank you. The Another walls. fracture in the wall. 30 meters, so let's jump down a little bit more and see if it uh, narrows. Yeah, we have another crinoid in view. Bristle mouth. Fish. Ship's about halfway through the move. We uh, image that one. Yep. There's an urchin falling down the slope. Just went out of view from oh, the really? top. Yeah. It fell. It's falling now. Oh. Pan back up. Or it'll come into view. Oh. That might have done a self arrest there. Yeah, it looks like it did. Oh. It just came to a stop. Yeah. Kind of tumbled down a little right bit, though. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Lost Landed its in a little tube seven. footing. It did. <laughs> it's that one that's in the center of the top. <laughs> this is clearly the point in time at uh, two weeks in that uh, oh, everyone starts to get a little bit happy. <laughs> you just saw the replay. <laughs> All right, Josh. C pen. Does somebody see a C pen? Nope. Do we pass it, Taylor? 
Yeah, it was farther up um, as we were coming down the wall. Shoot. Depth of 20.58. Can we get a zoom on... You see one, Roland? Those Can we get points. a zoom in on the uh, dark, fuzzy thing, center right? Yeah, let's do the center first, or whatever's right. easy. Go ahead, zoom in. Uh, it's getting an image of an enemy. It's partial. All right, do you want to look at the other guy or zoom in closer on this? Uh, can we look it up, up right. to the right? All right, go ahead, partial. Another crinoid. Okay, go in closer. Awesome, thank you, Josh. You're welcome, we can pull wide rolling. Uh, pretty far out here. Looks like a what is that to the left of that first thing you zoomed in on? Looks like a welcome mat. What is that? This brown layer? Yep. Yeah, just left and down. Left oh, and yeah, 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 yeah. It is a welcome yeah. mat. Or a piece a welcome of mat. Piece Good of carpet. Spot. What is it? Oh, oh right. Another piece. Linoleum. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Well, I know that's a piece of American history. Well, maybe it's right, Scottish history, wide. actually. Yeah. yeah, cultural or investigating <laughs> our cultural resources. Yeah. All right, I gotta get moving. Yeah, we're <laughs> pulling way <laughs> off the wall here. Shoot on down. I remember this spot. You're going to have to start backing up soon. This is where we hit the shelf. Take a look to your left and see what you're getting into. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but I do recall coming up some some sort of a Slope here. We're at a depth of 2072.
Say, hey, Andrea, when you get a chance, could you call out the uh, that long? Yes. We'll write it down, too. It is 39 degrees, 39 minutes, 0 0.8939. 71 degrees, 11.7249. Great, thanks. There it goes. Oh, that was interesting. Did you see that white? Um, the uh, urchin on the right? Yeah, the urchin. It just like jumped off and then Center grabbed back screen on. right. Oh, really? Yeah, it just dropped down a foot or so. It's those that pair that are closest together. Yeah, yeah. I see. You can zoom in. I think you'll hop again. Oh. Just want to be closer to his friend. He is moving his little. He just dropped in to say hello. He is yep. still moving. So we're still moving down. Yes. And it is almost two. Hey, you can go back in if you want. Yeah, there you go. Stay right there. The ship move should be about done. Cool. Okay, good. Maybe they're having a little uh, sword fight. All right, you gotta come wide. He's running away. You can zoom in again. Yeah, they made contact. Now they're heading off in opposite directions. All right. So head right. I've uh, turned a little south to square off to the wall here. And Our heading is 134 southeast. up a lot more debris here. Many different size rocks, which is of course uh, consolidated mud or mudstone. Um, but a, the pebbles appear to have different origins, different colors you see, like the cobbles. 
Yep, we're getting squat lobsters again. We're at a depth of Uh, Chrysogorgia. All right, zoom in on this, really. Two. Be an amphipod in the middle of both. I see a bright pink spot. All right, come partial. All right, come full out. Let's see how close I am. And we're at a depth of 2087, picking up uh, Chrysogorgia doctocorals again. Yeah, Andrew, I couldn't tell what was living on that. Yeah. I almost feel like we were here before. Yeah, this looks familiar. That Try to get this octocoral. If we're here for a minute, can you zoom on the other cross the Gorgon? Yep. Yep. Is there also another coral down to the right? Well, over to okay, the right. Go ahead, a little bit down. It's kind of red. Yep, I saw that. Enemy? Nope. I think Scott, you may be right. It might be egg, an egg mass. I saw a lot of little hot pink dots. All right, I gotta get moving. Yeah. Pull out Dark. Early. Can you when you I'm can you to pan to the right? Yeah. We saw little egg masses like that out on the sea mounts, and I think they were fish. On a snake. Eggs. Yep. Go ahead. Two main have more information on that. Yeah, Scott, uh, they right. were egg, egg masses, uh, fish. That's right. Get pulled. Somewhere I have some genetic results on those. Andrea or Brendan, when we get a chance, could you ask have what uh, how much time it is to waypoint B2 the current speed sure we are um, done with our ship move back down slope almost yes I didn't catch which waypoint but I heard the what's our off bottom time today 330 Oh, it's not pushed back an hour? No. It's unfortunate. It's waypoint T. Two hundred meters, but that's going to be a tricky transit. You know, you're not even going to do point one. Um, two hundred meters at point one is an hour and a half. Coming down with you. Let's say two and a half hours. 
Because with this promontory sticking out, you're going to have to be very careful when you come around this. Up to plus six game. Just carry on down. Yeah, I think we're going to do our watch change. The Sirius is still settling out. We're a bit off bottom right now, out. about nine meters. Our depth is 2094. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do point one all the way there. It's okay. Maybe 100 meters. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you, Bridge. Um, it's 200 meters over to that particular uh, waypoint too. So we're, you're looking at uh, realistically, given the, how we're gonna have to fly, we're looking at a uh, couple of hours, two hours. So it's uh, so 100 meters to where the uh, contour sort of pinched down and it looks like it gets steeper. So that's probably a realistic target, and that's sort of the front edge of um, the uh, the front edge of the promontory. promontory. We're going to start making our way down there. The pilots, the ship move is complete. Probably at five more meters on Sirius. So we're coming up on a shift change. So as soon as uh, they get uh, sorted out on that, uh, we'll probably put in, well, not probably, we will put in for another ship move along the contour. Did you lose the video feeds and audio? The uh, I-1 feed came back. Came back? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yep, back here now. So, I, <clears throat> are we not able to move even 0 0.1 knots? It's, it's just this feature is pretty um, topographically complex and yeah. it takes a while. When we move laterally along the slope, it really shortens um, decreases our time that we can move, our speed that we can move. If we move upslope, we can move faster. But that's kind of been our, you know, okay. thing we've been dealing with throughout the whole cruise, how to move over this mm -hmm. topography. Yeah, we're looking at, we could usually do point one, but we're so not we going to, the, the way the promontory and comes and out, it's going to be, south. they're going to have to be looking Along out forward a fair bit, which uh, is going to slow them down. So. Yeah, Brendan, I'd be happy to okay. speak so on OKEX okay if you'd like. Bad. So it's going to be less than 0.1. Coming yes. from my right side, I believe. Would you, Brendan, would you like me to? Yeah, sure, you can if you want, Brian. I mean, if I you think so. it would help. Uh, yeah, I, need to see the... I think we probably, we're okay. probably OK. All right. All right. So. There's not much we can it? do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, I could just, you know, I could give, ground fault. give them the same, exp I could give the, um, the but other than that, everything's working fine. Similar explanation. I think it's just moving into, so moving into that promontory, you, you know, given that yeah. the average bathymetry, you know, it's going to be, we're going to be moving by sonar and by sight. And so we're not going to, you know, we're not going to be able to put in a 200 meter ship move. We're going to have to do 20, 30 meters at a time and see where we're at. No, that's fine. No, no. No, I was just offering to help. <laughs> you know, I want you to be the good cop.
So it is two o'clock local time. We are at a depth of 2103 meters and we are completing our shift change. So we will be transiting uh, to directly south along this uh, depth contour um, and see what we can do about getting towards the uh, promontory. Right. So I understand we're headed south here. That is correct. Due south. Hi, Brandon. How are you today? I'm excellent. How are you? Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're we're headed due south. Um, you know, you know the normal drill: peak out um, or. If you can fly like so. this, yeah. Well, I, I can fly like this, or I can turn to the left and be looking into the into the um, slope. Probably better to look into the slope because it's not going to make any difference in your uh, lateral speed, correct? Right. Yeah. So, looking into the slope and then you know peek out whenever you need to to make sure you're comfortable and. <laughs> We'll, okay. Right. We'd like to get as far south as possible, or as we can, towards our next waypoint. Okay. Um, but you know the drill. Right. Thank you. Hey, Nav, is the ship moving? Ship is not moving. Okay. Do we know how fast we're going to ask for it to move? Is it going to be a fast move or? A I suspect it's going to be a pretty slow move based on the terrain. Okay. All right, then uh, yeah, then I'm okay going sideways because I'm seeing these rocks and stuff. I wouldn't want to go sideways into one of them. Yeah. Well, it sure has a straight edge on it, doesn't it? Okay, now I think we can get going. Ready? Yep. All Bobby, right. you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. So before Brian left, he suggested moves of 40 meters or less. That's a grand idea. So just in case things change dramatically. Yep. Is uh is anyone still there? 
Go ahead, this is Okeanos. Video, you wanna take a snap zoom on that okay. dark just, uh, spot there? It was quiet, I wasn't trying yeah. to I'm here, Brian, but I'm shore side. <laughs> Kimlin. Just a different color rock. We're just getting set up and uh, okay, finishing with the uh, shift change. So we're getting ready to go uh, due south along uh, this depth contour. We're at uh, 2106 meters. So call out what really you cool need. really cool if we can make it up and over. Okay, pilots, I'm thinking 40 meters due north, south uh, at point one south knots. Facing side Sounds of the good. Where is 40 but meters we'll take us on high pack? Uh, right to my cursor. Yeah, okay. And if anything, we can stop if we find something interesting. Yep. Yeah, the main, you know, the main issue is that it doesn't, going, we either have to go straight up the slope Bridge or along the slope, enough. going, sort of crabbing along, right, up uh, and like over the, the slope. Uh, 40 meters. Doesn't work. Uh, do it south doesn't work for the pilots. And so, um, we're, you sort of, we have to yeah, that's uh, correct. take these Thank slopes you. at sort of right angles. And so I'm, uh, uh, one I know that it's frustrating yeah. because it one eight zero. So I'm pushing seems like it's taking longer and it is taking longer. Let's take a snap but, zoom on that um, um, urchin right there. Uh, I just don't know another way around it. And Brian and I have talked a lot about it. And a little um, more. And nothing we can do ultimately or nothing mm -hmm. easy that we can do. So. Yep. Safe, I mean, safety first, you know. So. Yes. Uh, so, pilot. Yes. Just as long as they know that, that we're interested in going south is not going to take us along possible. the contour. It's going to take us slightly up it as well. Okay. We yeah, I'm feeling that right now. So we're going to be increasing our. Okay. Uh, what? Or decreasing our depth as we continue along this direction. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I'm going to have to head like sort of yep. up that. So even even though high pack says we should be going right along the contour. Clearly, we're not. So. Right. No, it should be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm just pointing it out. Yeah. Looks and good. I will be coming up as well. You do a quick zoom on the pink uh, star, uh, or yeah. if you don't have time, that's good. No, no, don't worry about it. it. You have time, just let your momentum carry you through. Yeah. Video? Good. Very nice. I'm gonna go right on in there. I think you're pretty close yeah. to setting down on something. Okay. Go ahead if you will have time. Okay, zoom right on in. Might have to come out a little. <laughs> I'm probably drifting away. You're good. Okay, full wide. I think you were holding that actually really well. Thanks. I think you were able to catch that rock right below you. Yeah, maybe. Even though your altimeter says 1.5, it's at, I think my toe was at on the, the back rock. end. Yeah. My left toe is on that. So well done. Again. Let's start to go in on this uh, urchin. Yep, hold that. I got a whole gaggle of things here. Yeah, we have an urchin and the two uh, morphs of the uh, brittle stars. Yeah. Let's get those a little tighter. 
Great. It's another one of those purpley ones that we yeah. Tim was fascinated with the other day. And then we have this guy. And you're free to go. And let's go full wide. Yeah. Grab this shrimp that's kind of. Go ahead. Good. The uh, slope is barren. Uh, it's changed a little bit from the standpoint that it's uh, barren of any kind of uh, rock debris, uh, at least what's in view um, once it pans back out from zooming in on the shrimp. And let's go wide again. Hello, Jeff. Hi, Andrea. Uh, it's looking upslope. And this is looking in the direction we're going. Also upslope. Take a look to the right here. You see it's starting to get steep-er right here. <laughs> 